This morning we will talk about Savant K9 and they breed functional molosses, functional mastiffs. And why do I say this? Because most people think that Savant K9 uh, are breeding bandogs, which they are most known of. But I say functional mastiffs because they also breed uh, a certain type of bull lurcher that's more of a mastiff type than your average bull lurcher. So in my opinion, it should be more of an allowance lurcher. So the allowance gentil, which was the running mastiff, was a type that was used for catching, for example, boar and the likes. So a dog fast enough to close on, close uh, the distance with the prey is strong enough to handle it. And it's a little bit different than a bandog. Bandogs are very good at catching the prey, but are not as fast as this running type of mastiff. We also call this the light mastiff. And they are, in its essence, a cross between running dog and, uh, for example, greyhound and more of a combat orientated dog and very often those that uh, work their dogs are using the bull cross to do this at the bull lurcher but in case of uh, Savant canine they are more like the Alain Gentil that's also been bred by uh, other breeders that want to First, uh, revigorate the English Mastiff uh, as a more healthy uh, breed, so they breed in a little bit of uh, greyhound blood, but also those who are seeking for a stronger type of, uh, a bigger type of running Mastiff. And in this case, they also use uh, stag hounds, so that is already a cross between running dog and other types, and a little bit more heavier set. But in this case, they are not seeking uh, ultimate uh, speed or ultimate athletic capabilities, but they seek a, a fast and strong type of dog. That being said, their main breeding program is uh, involving uh, this band dog program that they have, which is uh, very well known. Also, their running massives are performance orientated, which is a good thing, but their bandog program is a little bit different than that of others. It is uh, heavily focused on uh, Mastino Napolitano, so the Italian Mastiff blood, but it also incorporates other uh, blood, of course. So American Pitbull Terrier for athletic uh, prowess, but they also have bred in a little bit of Presa Canario, sometimes Presa Canario with a little bit of uh, shepherd blood, for example, there's one example that is 25% of uh, Dutch shepherd crossed with American Pitbull Terrier, and the other 75% Preza Canaria, which is already a band dog on its own of performance lines. And uh, thereby they include a little bit of bull herder blood. As mentioned in other videos, the bull herder is a cross very often with uh, other uh, more combat orientated uh, dogs, especially American pit bull terriers and the likes. But sometimes also they use a mastiff and they also do that bull. In my opinion, that would be more of a mastiff, but also, like they mentioned, the bull lurches are also, in my opinion, more mastiff lurches. But let's not get uh, caught on names. It's much more important that a band dog or a running mastiff is able to do what it is able to do. And a Dutch Shepherd that they chose already has for a Shepherd type of dog more bull blood than for example the Belgian Malinois, which is also a very performance oriented animal has. And the Shepherd also brings a lot of drive and uh, interaction with their owner. Whereas Mastiffs and Bull and Terriers are often more solo working and uh, yeah, they, they all bring their own 
advantages. The, the drawback of crossing all these types of dogs could be that you are losing some of the functionality because it will be scatterbred. But you can counter that by performance selection, of course. Then you only have the benefits of the rich gene pool. So, a long story short, this breeding program by Safe and Fair K9 is very interesting, and I'm really wondering if in the future those uh, two breeding programs would not collide. So, what do I mean with that? Is that uh, the boo lurches or they're running uh, yeah, they're running mastiffs will also be incorporated in uh, the bando program and the other way around because if you would breed a little bit of stack hounds or other type of running dog together with the bando programs of course you get a running mastiff as, as well and if you breed a little bit of uh, running massive into your bandage program, you get a dog that's more athletic and faster. If you already have quite massive band dogs because they carry this uh, heavy mastino blood quite uh, a lot, you will be very close to uh, yeah, an average band dog in bone, for example. And as I mentioned, also, their bando program is quite heavy on this uh, massive. So I th just think that Safe and K9 is really trying to revigorate the massive blood again. So by e either getting them a lot faster and more nimble, with the running types of a massive, or more battle orientated and uh, determined with their bando program. Hope you like this video. If you do, please feel free to subscribe. Have a great day. Oh, the doggy on the leash is not a bad dog or not a running mastiff, but just a small terrier. Spikey is a petadil type. It's also known as a black fell and used for uh, taking care of vermin, especially uh, predator vermin such as foxes, badges, but also uh, rats, raccoons, raccoon dogs, and the likes. Some even use them on coyotes. But that's another story altogether, and then you have to have multiple battered alterias because, because otherwise, coyotes can easily kill them. Have a great day.